Brothers and sisters, today's message is uh, encouragement. We would, I would like to encourage you to uh, make sure that uh, you don't fall apart. You don't, you don't stay behind in, uh, in this course we're working with the, with the Lord. That's why I came to do today to talk about have, to have confidence in the Lord, to have confidence in God. We are called to have confidence in God. Without having confidence in God, we will be, we have a tendency to have confidence in our flesh, to have confidence in us. We'll be ready to blame God. Oh, why didn't you leave me in the place where I was? I was fine. So here, confidence in God, just trying to tell us that we, we have to be, to know that the Lord said he will never leave us, never forsake us, according to, of course, Hebrew, Hebrew 13, 5. So it is important for us to know that the Lord has a wonderful plan for us. He will never leave us, never forsake us. If we really know that he is with us at all times, he sits with us, he walks with us, he goes everywhere. When we sleep, he is right there. We will not going to be second when something is going on and the Lord is leading us in the right path we can't we I don't think we are supp supposed to play smart to start thinking that we would have done something better than him he knows better he has a wonderful plan he the, the Lord knows the world he created it the Lord knows what the best for you but if you start speculating, start, start saying that maybe the Lord forget you, maybe the Lord, well, that's exactly what the children of Israel went through. That's why today, uh, what comes in my mind, what I believe the Holy Spirit in my mind, is to talk about this, to talk about the Israelites. As I was uh, listening and reading uh, number, numbers, we, I was uh, reading numbers, and I, what caught my attention in my reading, in my listening to the audio, was number Numbers chapter 20. Numbers chapter 20, we're going to go there. Numbers chapter 20, let me just open that. Numbers chapter 20, we will read uh, uh, just uh, about probably two verses uh, from uh, 4 to, to 5, when the children of Israel got mad at uh, uh, at Moses, they start talking against him. As you know, you and I, we know that uh, God responded to the children of Israel when they were in uh, in Egypt. They were struggling, suffering down there. And if you look very good, if the Lord, they called upon the name of the Lord. The, God said, "I come to you to rescue you." To bring you out of Egypt. And he went he, with mighty hands. He, he brought them out of Egypt. These people. They crossed the Red Sea. In a very amazing thing. Things which never happened before. The, 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 the war opened. So the Lord was with, with them at all times. He said he never leave them and never forsake them. But yet they were grumpy, complaining, and, and every time they complained, they want to go back where they were. I don't think they really meant it. Because they were the ones who were screaming and want the Lord to come and help them. And the Lord came to help them because he had a wonderful plan for them. Remember, remember Jeremiah 29, 11, the Lord has a wonderful plan for you. Maybe you are suffering, maybe you are in a very awful situation today. Have confidence in God. That's the message I have for you today. Have confidence in God. Have confidence in God. Steve, have confidence in God. I can talk to myself to say, I need to have confidence in God. Because he's the one who is leading me. He brought me out of the, my mother's womb. He's leading me to the right place. And this road is, can be 
painful, it can be dangerous. I better have confidence in God. You remember, uh, is it Psalm 23? It said, Though I walk in the valley of uh, 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 in, the, in, in the dark valley of death, I shall not fear because you are with me, your, your road leads me. In the work there, and know you are with me. If you have confidence in God, even every kind of a, a, a sad situation arrived, you know you are not alone. I love over the song of Kerry Job. I'm not alone. We are not alone. He said, We will never leave us, never forsake us. Our Lord is trustworthy. So in this reading, uh, in read, reading Numbers chapter 20 verse 4, uh, listen what he said. And uh, why, did, why did you bring the Lord's community into the start of 3? Uh, they quarreled with Moses and said, If only we had died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Isn't it probably that what you're feeling, my brother, my sister, telling God, why did I even come in this world? Telling God, why didn't you leave me where I was before? Why did you bring me here? Why did you, maybe that's what you're saying after living where you used to live. Maybe you live in Africa, when you live in the U.S., you are somewhere else. When you live somewhere where you used to live, you start reminding the Lord, I wish I went back there. And remember, when you were there, you were screaming, crying to God. You wish, he, you want him to help you. My brother, my sister, I think it's just a, a, a vicious circle. You have to believe in God. He's taking you to the right place. I believe that we need to have that confidence because without that confidence, we'll be tossed here and there. And those kind of people are not successful. And here the children of Israel screaming, they say, they, they, the Bible says, they quarreled with Moses and said, if only we had died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Why did you bring the Lord's community into this wilderness that we and our livestock should die here. Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to this terrible place? It has no grain, no figs, grape, grape vines, or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. That's their complaint. You can read the whole thing how Moses did and so on. They went to the uh, to the entrance of the tent of uh, to meet in, in, with God and spoke. My big concern is this kind of complaints. This kind of complaints are still today with us. The Bible is written for our uh, help so that we don't fall in the same situation. You'll be screaming, I need the baby. Your oh, father, I need to have a baby. I need to have a baby. I need to have a baby. And then all of a sudden, somehow, the Lord helps you, you have a baby. And now you are taking care of baby. Oh, Lord, look at what this baby does. I complaining, complaining, complaints after complaints. That's what the children of Israel were. And that's what the, the, the teaching here that have confidence in God. I can probably take the life of, uh, of Joseph and it was not clearly taught. taught, taught, taught. They, didn't, they didn't know that a clear message came to him. He had, he had dreams, as you know, I don't want to go there, and that and it, 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 it's going to be somebody important. But look at the way he everything went. He was thrown in the pit. He was sold. He was uh, placed in prison. All those things we went through. But the Bible didn't tell us any place that uh, Joseph was complaining. He went and he reached the highest level 
of uh, position in Egypt. And then, and then we have other 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 figure we can uh, rely on to uh, to understand what, how to really behave, how to really live with our God, knowing that He is with us, never leave us, never forsake us. Have confidence in God. Have confidence in God. Have confidence in the Lord. Work on having confidence in Him. In your pain. In your hard situation in the difficulty you are going through you tell my brother steve you don't know my situation you 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 right i don't know your situation but i know what the lord is telling me have confidence in him he's telling you will never leave you, you will never forsake you according to hebrew 13. he say i will never leave you never forsake you the bible tells us in hebrew i think several hebrew 13, uh, Eight or let's say that what Jesus Christ is saying remain the same yesterday, today, and forever. Trust, have confidence in Him. Uh, Jeremiah 29 11 tells us that God is telling us we He has a wonderful plan for us, not a plan to harm us, not a plan to harm you. If He tells you never leave you, never forsake you, He is with you in that situation. Trust Him, trust Him. Trust Him. Have confidence in Him. You will never be disappointed. Who said that? I mean, the King, King David, I think he said he, he was young and now he's old. He have never seen a, 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 a just person having trouble or something like that. Or, or even his child begging for food. Have confidence in God. If anything starts showing like different from what you believe that God is leading, have confidence in Him. Talk to Him in the best way you can. Not in a complaining way. Complaining doesn't take you far. It destroys you. Have confidence in God. I think I probably will continue this topic because the reality the reality is that uh, if I stop, uh, I continue, I may go all the way to 20 minutes. I would like to stop here. I prefer to stop at 10. I keep going above and I'm already on 12. We will continue. Have confidence in God. Please have confidence in God. Steve, have confidence in God. I can talk to myself multiple times to have confidence in God. It is important for us to have confidence in God. So I will have more examples for you and I will continue and as the Lord allows me because I have too many uh, chapters and verses we need to read together and understand how, why and how having confidence in God is very important. People before us, they have confidence in God, they succeeded. Those who didn't have confidence in God, they, got, they get the result of what they're looking for. Have confidence in God. The Lord loves you too much to let you suffer or fall in a bad situation. As the children of Israel thought many times, they have the... The Lord working. The Bible says that the Lord was there in the in the night. He was there as 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 a fire in the form of the fire. In the during the day, He was there in front of it. They were a, a cloud in front of them working. The Lord was there, and the Lord did a lot of miracles. That's why I said I say miracles don't. It's not something that what you have to you have to have confidence in God and the God who loves you. The one you accept through Jesus Christ who will lead you to the right place. Have confidence in God. I better stop here. We'll continue in that topic because that's what Christianity is. It's having confidence in God. To have confidence in God, to work on that relationship with God. Knowing Him, you will not gonna go astray. No matter where they're pulling you, you will stay completely faithful to the Lord. To your God, the God of your salvation. Amen. So, see you soon. We'll talk again. Amen.